Well, the fight over closing several Oakland schools is still on. That's even after the school board voted to make the cuts last night. KPI X5's Andrea Borba on what's going to happen next. After a marathon school board meeting and a vote that took place after one in the morning, the OUSD board voted to close two schools at the end of this school year and more next year. Today, parents, teachers and lawmakers are all vowing to fight back. Two Oakland schools will close after this school year ends. Parker Elementary and Community Day School following last night's vote. Today, on the steps of Oakland City Hall, a plan to fight closures began to emerge. Starting with Assemblymember Mia Bonta, she's introduced AB 1912, urgency legislation to give OUSD more than $10 million to stop the closures and to relieve some of the debt from state receivership. That would relieve OUSD of the pressure to move to school consultants consolidations and closures in this moment amidst the pandemic. It is unjust and unethical to make our students, our families and our community suffer to pay back the debts that were run up by state officials. Educators are also fighting back, serving OUSD with a lawsuit over the closures and consolidations and threatening more. I'm prepared to ask Oakland educators to strike to protect our schools if necessary. For Oakland City Council President Pro Tem Sheng Tao, the closures are personal. If my school was closed, I would have not been able to attend school because my mother did not know how to drive. Mike Hutchinson, one of two dissenting school board members, says the process and vote were rushed and based on lies. We are not in financial crisis in OUSD. We are not a declining enrollment district. We have an enrollment dip for these two years of the pandemic, like every other district in the state of California. But this has been a narrative that's been pushed on our community since the state takeover. In a virtual press conference that happened at the same time as the city hall presser, OUSD officials said the closures would bring a significant cost savings to the district. It will yield about a million dollars for the district and savings of unrestricted funds, which the district can repurpose for other purposes in terms of like compensation for employees um, to, to support the district. Another million dollars from the, the first four schools that were listed can be redirected and reinvested back in those schools. While two schools are set to close at the end of this school year, three more are expected to close at the end of next school year, including Brookfield Elementary. Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.